Hey guys, Dungeon J here, I'm coming back with another playthrough of Mediv in this episode of uh, uh, the Mediv leveling series. As you can see, I'm level 15. It's been a little while since I've dropped down a video. Uh, last week I was tied up with Destiny 2 and Warframe, trying to get those out on the channel. You guys might have noticed that I did a Destiny 2 review. Today we're going to go ahead and continue on, get some leveling in. And in the background there you can hear Hyperlight Drifter. This is the complete OST soundtrack. So I hope you guys enjoy it. The game is phenomenal. If you've not played it, I recommend that you do. It's very much like a Zelda. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and dive deep. I've got some leveling i got to do. i got some quests i got to finish. It's been some big news lately. As many of you may be aware, we've got Classic Realms coming. Um, it's probably not going to happen until about uh, 2019, guys. I'm really excited about that. I've uh, been jumping on... Uh, Orkbit stream and we've been talking about it quite a bit. Now it's been a little while since I've played this character actually, so let's see. Yeah, I might need to sell some stuff real quick here. Let's try to get acquainted with what the hell's going on, you know what I mean? Alright, so I don't need any of that stuff. Okay. There we go. Let's go sell this stuff real quick. The Hand of August. Yes, sir. Now, as many of you are aware, it's going to be a vanilla realm. They're not going to be doing. They're not going to be doing TBC, so that's kind of unfortunate. I would like that to be the case, but to get to TBC, we're going to have to first get this vanilla thing going. And like I said, I believe they're going to be releasing it in 2019. I'm going to go ahead and buff up, get my frost armor, get my artane intellect kicking we'll make some food make some water I've got my bold clams where's my cooking my cooking sitting there at 69 right now how's my tailoring doing tailoring looks like it's doing pretty good okay so got to make some linen cloth which is fine good uh, chance to check out the map here so I've got to kill 10 of the Sunhawks uh, spies. We go in deeper. It looks like I got some Hellcare uh, callers I got to kill. Some Elder Brown Bears I need to kill. Death Claws Paws. I don't know if I'll be able to get to that, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and dive deep into that area and see what we can come up with. I'll go ahead and buff up here. All right. I'm ready to roll. I wonder if I want to go ahead and uh, pop my increase intellect by five. I think I'm going to hold off on that. I'm two away from uh, getting another piece of uh, crystal of insight. Uh, is that an elder brown bear? Elder brown bear. No, those are just grizzlies. Alright, here we go. We're diving in, guys. Check it out. I don't need to kill any thistle whistle uh, lasher dudes. Sunhawk spies. Where are you at? Alright, here we go. There's one. Let's hit him with a fireball, hit him with a frost bolt, smack him around a little bit more with that frost bolt, make it happen. Hope you guys are having a great, wonderful day. Been having a, a great week and a half. I really enjoyed Destiny. It's one of those games that could suck you right in, guys, and you wouldn't even know it. So I've got to be careful with that. So I, I'm not playing it as much as I had been the last week. I might do some lore videos on it, some stuff. I don't know. I really do enjoy that game, and I definitely like it being on the Battle.net launcher. But that being said, there's not a lot of meat and potatoes at the end game on that Destiny 2, at least not yet. They're already talking about the D, uh, DLC coming with uh, Osiris before Christmas. Can you believe that, guys? It's going, they're going, the game has only been on the PC and in less than two months, they're going to be hitting us with DLC. Just doesn't feel right, if you ask me. It feels a little too much. All right, I'm going to have to get back some mana and get back some hit points. As we take down this spy right here, good deal. All right, let's go ahead and chug away some of that fresh water, some of that food. Probably only going to be doing a, about a 30 minute gameplay session today, guys. Just trying to get it rolling. 
I'm going to be looking into the next week, getting some more playtime in with this character and also Izzy Sparks. We've got Izzy Sparks up to, I believe, level 42 or 43. I want to go ahead and get him to 60 and get into that raid, but I don't think I'll be able to raid this week with her. It'll probably be next week. We'll see how that goes. Alright, take these frost bolts to the face. Sunhawk Spy. Alright, hit him with a couple little beats of the wand there. Beautiful. Lovely. Alright, here we go. Now, with the release of the Legacy servers, I'm, I'm thinking, since they're not going to have TBC up yet, so they're not going to have Wrath, some of the questions you guys may have out there is how is this going to affect the private server scene? I think it's going to impact the vanilla scene. I think it's going to have some impact on the TBC and Wrath scene. But, in the end, I think private servers are still going to be around. You're still going to have your War Main. Your War Main's not going to go anywhere. Uh, because at the end of the day, there's going to be people that want to play the other expansions that Blizzard's still not offering as of yet. And even without them offering it, there's going to be people that can't afford the subscription. I understand greatly about the costs of paying your bills and not being able to afford a subscription. It's just the nature of the beast, man. The world is not cheap. I know recently... Uh, the insurance rates for me went up in January of this year. They're going to be going, uh, all of them are going to be going up. So I've got a bunch of kids, man. I got three kids. I don't even have insurance for myself. No health care, guys. So just to keep health care for the kids is, you know, not, not really talking about myself too much here. I don't, really don't want to, but yeah, it's going to cost me more money, a lot more money. And it's like, uh, you know, it just seems like every time you get ahead, guys, there's something to sit there and kind of try to smack you and take you back. So what you got to do is just got to keep your head up high. You got to be motivated and realize that life may have hard moments. But in the end, it's all what you do with those moments and how you deal with the moments in between. Because there's a lot of good out there. And those moments of good are what keeps us going. And don't pull any kind of crazy crap where like... Uh, you know, like Prince overdosing on drugs or something like that. I was reading a, a doc, uh, documentary of Prince and stuff like that, and he just didn't seem like he didn't fit the type, right, to actually do that kind of stuff. Every interview I've ever seen from him over the years, he seemed like a pretty straight shooter. He didn't seem like he was high on anything. But then he kind of went out of the limelight in the last couple years, so maybe he was going through some rough stuff. You know, he was getting older. As you get older, you start to feel things you know, aches and pains, and maybe you just don't want to deal with life in general, and you might start taking medication, or you might start popping pills, or whatever. My answer is, they need to legalize marijuana across the world, and just allow people to smoke herb, and I think a lot of problems would be solved with that, because, you know, it's a lot better than popping heavy medications. I don't think we need to medicate the whole world just to deal with life. I, th I don't think that's a solution. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get back some uh, mana. I'm going to go ahead and get back some hit points. Actually, when my hit points, I'm going to go ahead and do the bold clams, get a food buff going. I've got all the, uh, I've got all the elves now that I need to kill. I need to get this altered crystal sample over here. Where is it at? Right there. I need to get the altered crystal sample. I got a pickaxe. I got to use. Let's see if there's any more dudes around me. Real quick. All right, so right here. Where's that axe? There we go. I'll go ahead and take a, a sample of this. And now it looks like working my way into uh, some of these mobs I need to kill over here. There's the mutated constrictor. I need to kill one of those guys. There we go. Get that frost bolt kicking. Take a few of those to the face, buddy. And a fire blast too. Oh, you resisted the fire blast. That's not even right. That's not even right, man. Now, as far as with the classic servers releasing, I believe there's going to be some changes to my channel. 
I, I think I've already told you guys that in one of my video drops. There's going to be some changes, man. Some things are going to happen. I'm definitely going to be very into retail with vanilla for a while. I'll probably try to raid and stuff like that. I'm really going to try to bring it to the channel. I'll probably be streaming it more. I'll be doing less private server stuff, unfortunately. I'll be doing less stuff in general because as this channel progresses, it's becoming more and more obvious. Like some of the stuff I do with the, the indie special report, um, the first looks into the indie games. I love doing it. I love bringing that stuff. And I know some of you guys really enjoy it. And I really enjoy it. But it doesn't really do much to grow my channel. Most of my growth comes from uh, stuff to deal with Blizzard. World of Warcraft or MMOs in general you know MMOs I get a lot of feedback from MMOs so it seems like my channel is kind of crafting into an MMO or at least a Blizzard channel and I think I'm you know I would I, I would like to say that I will still be putting out as much content for indies but I think I'm going to be peeling that back as it progresses I'll be doing some guides and stuff like that for uh, vanilla I'll be researching the hell out of it, actually, to tell you the truth, because I'm not very familiar with vanilla. I'm going to be first to tell you that. But I'm going to be researching the hell out of it. I'm going to be trying to throw up some guides. I definitely think I'm going to be doing some farming guides and stuff like that. And try to put my own spin on it. As you know, that's something I like to do. Plus, I haven't worked on any lore videos in quite some time. Uh, I did a little small, like, Halloween drop lore video. That was just for shits and giggles. But there's a lot of stuff with this new expansion, with the sub races. I really want to dive into that. Um, and of course, in general, there's lore videos that I want to do and put up on the channel. I enjoy doing those. They just take a lot of time. I may die here, guys. This is pretty. I need to stop thinking about what I'm doing here. All right, there we go. That bear nearly took me out, man. He said, You were not getting a piece of my flank, buddy. All right. There we go. Let's get back some of that good old hit points and some mana. I'm doing good on my buffs. I still got plenty of time. 20 minutes apiece. I'm well fed. I feel hot and ready to roll. Backpack is filling up quite fast. Oh, man. I need some more bags. That's what I need. I need some more bag slots, guys. If anything, this is going to stop me from going too deep into this. I'm going to have to turn around and go back. I really don't want to do that. Here's a constrictor. Let's go ahead and knock him out of the part. He's mutated. He looks kind of funny. Maybe he'll uh, drop some uh, something I need. Resist a lot of my spells. I mean, he is the same level as me. Now, some of you guys that may be watching this video that don't play on Warmain or don't play on Medivh, um, you may be wondering about their population. I think it's a healthy population for their one, times one server. They've got about a little bit over a thousand people. It's not fast. It's times one. I enjoy the times one experience. I know a lot of people have different opinions on that, but I, for one, enjoy the times one experience. You can always do the increased XP, and if you have time to do it, you don't have time to level. I don't see a problem taking that choice. I mean, I've made a ton of characters on Gamer District that I've leveled up over the years. Just because I don't got time, man. I don't have time to do it. Alright, took him out. Still no flank. Great. No flank. The drop rate is really horrible on these. Okay, my hit points are relatively low. That's all right. Worst case scenario is I'll pop another healing potion. I got five of those bastards, but I also have the gift. I'm going to go ahead and use it real quick. Get me back up to par so I can keep on chugging along and get some XP. Another reason why I picked this race to, to begin with, guys, is because my downtime is a lot less because of that. And as it progresses and my spells get cheaper, uh, you'll see how fast I can really roll through some of this stuff and not have to stop. The kickback's going to be really nice in the higher levels. Now, some of you guys may be wondering about my Ascension leveling series. As I said before, that's something that I'm going to do sporadically. It's not something I'm going to try to do once a week. 
it's just basically whenever I get the chance to do it and um, I haven't forgotten about it I will be getting back to doing some of my ascension leveling I love that server that Diablo feel to it but recently speaking of a Diablo feel to it uh, Mew Legends I believe is now gone into open beta I'm going to be signing up for that and I'm going to be diving deep into checking the Mew Legends and seeing exactly how good that um, MMO is that they're going to be working on. It's uh, being created by Webzine, I believe. So I'll probably be doing a first look video of that um, or maybe um, a first impressions instead of a first look. You know, I'm going to try to get some meat and potatoes inside of it. And then I want to dive back into Warframe here in the next couple weeks and really get a good vibe for that Plains of Edelon that they release on Warframe and see what all that's about see how I feel about it the thing is it's very grind based guys so you know I can give you first looks I can give you opinions on it but in the end what it comes down to is you watch the videos you see the game there's no secrets there I don't see much of a storyline there there's not a lot of meat and potatoes. There's not a lot that I can really give unless I'm giving guides. And I'm not going to be making guides for Warframe, so me diving deeper into Planes of Adelon is just purely something to do for myself. It doesn't provide anything to the channel, so that's I'm not rushing to get back into it, but I do like the gameplay on Warframe, guys. It's freaking phenomenally fun. All right, so let's see. Here we go. Let's get this guy right here. All right, so I've got three more of these dudes I got to take and get something. And then I still need five flanks for the bear. I've got a lot of threats I got to take care of containing the threat. I've got some shadow stalkers, hell uh, collars, and corrupted crystals to gather. So that's stuff that I'm going to have to take care of as I dive a little deeper. I'm not worrying about these quests right here right now. I don't even think I'm high enough level to check them out tell you the truth now this will be the next section I work into though over here on the left with those quests there is quite an abundant amount of quests for the starting area if you're just starting out and you're looking for a good area to level up in and like I said before if you complete all the quests in this area you get a really nice tavern guys and if you like having taverns early this is definitely the starting area to check out if you roll Alliance. I'm not sure if there's anything similar on uh, the Horde side like this. Uh, I don't think there is. I could be wrong. You know, I might need to check that out, but I don't think there's any kind of like preliminary quest that you can do to get a tabard that way. All right, now let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pop my Intellect Crystal. Why the hell not? And my food buff has got six minutes on it. That's good. So I've got that. Is there any other specialty? We've got four bold clams. Just trying to make some room here, guys. I don't need the chip bear tooth. Don't need the large bear tooth. Don't need the mutated vines. That way I can dive into this and really get some stuff I need to get as I kill these guys. All right, let's see what level they are. 15. All right, I'm going to try to deal with it. Oh, yeah, take that 52, man. That was a good hit. Now, one of the things that I really like about classic servers in general, TBC, Vanilla, Wrath to some extent. Not in the 1 to 60, though. The 1 to 60 is not really there. 60 to 70 is still kind of there. But, um, and the 7080 is definitely there. Is that when you tag mobs, when you fight mobs, if you try to take on more than one, if you, if you try to take on more than two, unless your class uh, can really handle it, uh, usually tanks are better suited to take on multiple mobs as you grind <clears throat> until you get to the higher levels, guys. It's a slower pace. Each fight, I mean, as you can see, my hit points are below half fighting this hell uh, caller guy so you know these are things that you have to a uh, poor infected squirrel um, these are things that you have to kinda 
assess as you level in the older realms. And it's a slower process, man, but it's about the journey. It is all about the journey. It's all about just getting in there, taking care of these mobs. You feel like you accomplished something. I remember talking to Ort Vic the other day. It's really that feeling that you get when you get a green uh, for the first time in the first couple, uh, you know, TBC, vanilla. When you get that first green, when you start to see some character progression in the times one environment, you really feel invested. And yes, the end game is phenomenal, guys. There's no question about it. Wow, look at that. That was a hundred crit, man. That's, I think that's my biggest crit yet uh, for this character. Hell yeah, man. Couldn't have come at a better time, too. My hit points are dangerously low. Dangerous. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, man. One more hit. So close. Wow. That was close, guys. Really close. All right. Let's see. Is there any... All right. So there's a crystal there. There's a dude hanging out. He's just kind of chilling. I'm going to go ahead and conjure some more bread. Might as well get some more water and sit down and relax for a second before I engage any deeper. But... That slow burn, man, that slow progression, it's just a beautiful thing. You can sit there, you can listen to podcasts, you can listen to your favorite music, you can really chill and get into the zone and feel invested in, in the world around you. You can even read the quests if you want to. I mean, I, I know not everybody wants to take the time, and they all think, you know, I don't... It's all about the investment in it, man. Learning what's around you enjoying the game for what it is there's so many games out there guys i mean just so many and i've played a ton i'm like i i gotta tell you guys i've probably pay, played a thousand games in my life right maybe more uh, all the way from the SNES. i played a ton of SNES games growing up all the way through right very few games out there have a decent story to be told that you play that has any depth or meaning to it and yeah there's a ton of great books out there don't get me wrong I've read a ton of great books I love books I mean I read a bunch of zombie uh, fiction all the time still but very few games capture a good story and can carry through um, and finding those games and being able to enjoy them as you play them to soak in that storyline are even fewer still. And World of Warcraft is one of those. And like I said, you can sit there, you can listen to a podcast. Hell, you can listen to my leveling series. As you do your thing in World of Warcraft. And you can really enjoy it, man. You can really enjoy it. It's not like an FPS shooter where it's all intense all the time, in your face constantly running on an adrenaline rush dude I love a FPS shooter as much as anybody but the thing about it is you have to be so much more into it you have to be so much more invested in what's happening around you that you can't enjoy the simpler things I mean you may not take the time to even really um, see what's around you in the game itself because you're so busy just worrying about the targets that are coming at you you may even ignore the storyline. So, as much as I love an FPS shooter, a lot of times it falls short with um, presenting everything that I like to see in a game. And don't get me wrong, Fallout 3, beautiful game. All right, Blood Splatter Cloak 12. I've got a green. I don't need that. Okay, let's see. Here's another dude right here. Let's Frost Nova him down. We'll hit him with the fireball. I have my gift up, so I've got enough juice to fight him. 300 mana. Should be no problem on this guy. This will be 3 of 5 once I kill this dude. Here we go. One more for the money. Fire blast and a couple wand hits. And we're good to go. Alright. Good to go. I'm loving it. I've got this crystal shard right here to grab. Let's go ahead and grab it. There's another Shadow Stalker right there. Another crystal. Alright, so we should have enough juice now to take on this Shadow Stalker. My Frost Nova has 
came back. I'll go ahead and drop that down. I've got enough for a couple frost bolts. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't really want to pop my mana juice. I'm just going to wand them down a little bit. Got enough for a fire blast or a frost bolt. I'm going to hit him with a frost bolt, uh, fire blast. Good choice. Did a crit on him. And he's going down. All right. What else did you have on him? Some wool cloth. I need to make room for that. Let's see. What do I drop? What, what do I get rid of? I don't need a haunch of meat. Other than my own. Da -dum -dum. All right. So here we go. Get this crystal. Beautiful. Get this crystal right here. So I'm making some progress, guys. I'm getting through these quests. Let's see. Alright, so we'll work over to this encampment over here. Oh, I just pulled this dude. Glad I looked around. Alright. Take a fireball, buddy. I should be able to grab a level, which would be awesome. There we go. Alright, so I've got all those I need. I need one more of these dudes. There we go. Knocking him out. Taking care of business. Alright, so we've got all those guys done. Still need another corrupted crystal. There's a crystal right there. Can I work around here? Can I get around these guys without pulling them? Looks like it. Grab this crystal. I'm not going to be able to do Death Claw, which I'm fine with that. Alright, so the last thing I need to do is try to go over here and kill this. Zafirax guy. Zafirax needs to go down. I'm pulling a bunch of mobs. That's fine. I'm about to Ice Nova. Work around this backside because I believe he's just right over here. I'm coming to him. Might have to kill some stuff around him. I'm not sure. We'll see. Alright, so. Okay. So he's right over there. I don't want to pull this dude. See if I can hop through the crystals. Okay. Making it through the crystals. Beautiful. Okay. There he is. That's the dude we want. I'm not sure. He's level 18. I'm not sure how this is going to go, guys. But I've got my gift. I've got a lot of mana. I've got a healing potion if I need it. I'm going to go ahead and pop my gift. Because... He's raining some damage here. Wow. Wow. It's getting close, guys. It's getting close. Oh, shit. He took me out. He took me out, guys. He took me to the bleachers. Shit. That's it, man. Out of the park. Got my ass. I should have popped that healing potion. That's all good, man. Level 18 versus level 15. I knew it was going down like that. I'm going to go ahead and ice his ass, and then I think I'm going to have to uh, call it a wrap for this video. It's getting kind of late. i got to go pick up my kids from school, guys. Let's see if I can work around here. Kill this dude. The Corrupted Crystal. The crystal pulsates with an angry red light. It's hard to believe such a thing was once part of the Exodar. Interesting. All right. That's it, dude. He's going down. I've got to exact my vengeance on him. I cannot go down like this. It's time for him to go down. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get some bold clam, get my hit point buff. Now, I saw it showed me... I don't have remove curse yet, do I? 
No, I don't think so. But it, sh it did show me that I was cursed, which did play a major difference in that. I've got two minutes on the cooldown for the gift of Naru. Two minutes on that, guys, before I can actually jump into it. I've got a healing potion. Do I have any other tricks on my sleeve? If I was back there, I could definitely use another buff like that, but I'm going to get rid of that rotting bear carcass. I don't need that. I don't think I have any other tricks up my sleeve, so this is just going to be mainly just an A-mono versus A-mono situation. I need to go ahead and buff up my Arcane Intellect. I'm going to go ahead and get that back as well. I'm on the slow burn there. I've got less than 40 seconds to go for to get back the gift. I definitely want to get that before I engage. Down to 37. At the 30 marker, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I'm going to be using... Do, now, do I have a better healing potion than this? Or is that the best I've got? Alright, so that's the best I've got. Alright, here we go, guys. We're going to do it, man. Let's do it. Alright, there's no point. I'm just going to hit him with the fireball. That's probably going to do the most damage. He's resisted both of them. That son of a bitch. All right, the gift is back. I'm going to use it. All right, come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're bringing them down. Got him. Wow. I got to tell you guys, that was, that was pretty intense. He's cursed the shit out of me, though. All right. That was almost raid boss level for me. <laughs> I got to tell you. All right, so that's it. That's a wrap for this episode. What I'm going to do when I get back is I'm going to hearth back to the general location. I'm going to turn in some of these quests. And I will definitely have another episode up this week for Medivh leveling, guys, because I really want to get back into this. So expect another episode later this week. But that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the Hyper Light Drifter uh, OST in the background, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and one of my bull sessions. But that's it. I'm Dungeon J signing out. Guys, have a great day gaming. Later.